Pastor Diane from Norfolk Wesleyan Church. And I am Pastor Peggy from Slave Lake Wesleyan Church. Today is Tadpole Thursday. Yay! <laughs> well, um, before we before we get to the story, I wanted to tell you about um, a group that I have joined on Facebook. It's called the 518 Rainbow Hunt. Hmm. And 518 refers to a telephone area code and it's east of here in uh, Plattsburgh, Malone area. I don't know how far south it goes. Um, and in that area, they, they're they searching for rainbows. And people have um, painted rainbows on their front windows. They've done chalk art on the sidewalk. Um, they've they've done balloon arches that are are rainbow and the the idea was to remind people, especially at this time, you know, COVID and staying at home and everything, that the rainbow is a symbol of hope, and and they just wanted to to remind people to be hopeful. And I meant I have mentioned this group before, I think, and. Um, I just thought it would be really nice to spend a, a day talking about rainbows. Really? You're spending a day talking about hope? That's true. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, because the rainbow is a sign of hope. And, mm -hmm. uh, and no matter what's going on in the world, we still need to hold on to a hope yes. that tomorrow will be better. Yeah, sure. Well, we have a book that we're going to share with you, and it's called The Big Flood. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you enjoy this book. Me too. Hi, this is the story of Noah and the Ark, and it's called The Big Flood, and it's written by Paul and Dolores Gully. This is a true story from Genesis chapter 5, verses 32 to 10, verse 1. It's in the Bible. God loved a man named Noah, and Noah loved God too. God had big plans for Noah. What do you think he'll do? God commanded Noah to build a massive boat. I'm sending lots of rain. You will need to float. Everyone else was wicked. They mocked the good and pure. They never heard of rain. Impossible, we're sure. Noah had three sons. They helped him build each day. For over 50 years, they didn't get to play. Noah begged the people, repent and change your ways. There's room on board for all who love the God that saves. Then God called to the animals. He brought them two by two. Noah told his family, our boat is now a zoo. On the boat they went, each to find their stall. From elephants to mice, there was room for all. When everything was ready, God came and shut the door. Drip, drip, drip. The rain began to pour. For 40 days and nights, rain fell from the sky. Outside, the waves were rising. Inside, it was safe and dry. Taking care of animals was not an easy chore. God remembered Noah, and then it rained no more. Noah sent a dove when the ark hit a peak. The dove flew back with a branch in its beak. After many days, the ground was finally dry. Then everyone came out and praises filled the sky. God painted the first rainbow, a promise for all to see. He'll never flood the earth again. He loves us, you and me. When God gives you a job, you may not understand. You can always trust him and follow his big plan. If you'd like to know God's plan for your life and be his special child, you can say this simple prayer. It's called the ABC prayer. A stands for admit. Admit that you're a sinner. 
This means that you've done wrong thing, and we all have. B is for belief, and we believe that Jesus is God's son, and he wants to forgive us. C stands for commit, confess. Commit means that we're going to live our lives for God. And confess means we're going to tell others about what he has done for us. That was a fantastic story. I love that. Isn't that cool? I like the rhyming part. But you know what? There's something about a rhyming book that just makes everything happy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it yeah. really does. You know, and, and that reminds me of another Bible verse that says that um, I can do all things through him, who through God, who gives me strength. And I can't imagine what it, what it must have been like for Noah. Like, I want you to build an ark. And you're like, okay. A what? A what? <laughs> A what? I've never seen one of those before. How do I do that? I know how hard it is to build something without directions. So I'm glad God gave him directions for this thing. I, I know how hard it is to build stuff from Ikea. Yes. Yes. And they have pretty good directions. They have very good directions. Yeah. yeah. So kudos, Noah. <laughs> but we 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 have that same power and we can do things uh, that we we would never ever think that we can do, but God will give us the strength to do it. So that that story brings a lot of hope. Yes, yes it does. Well, we're gonna do a little craft now. And it's a different kind of painting. Ooh. Ooh. Painting. Painting. Finger painting? String painting. String painting? String Ooh, painting. That sounds interesting. And so I don't get my fingers dirty in this. But this is this is very abstract, meaning whimsical. Whimsical? whimsical. I was trying to think of a word that a child would know. <laughs> whimsical. This, this, this is very abstract, whimsical. It may not look necessarily like reality. It's it's a color outside your lines kind of painting. Oh yes, with a line. With a line. Yeah. <laughs> color outside the lines with a line. That's cool. <laughs> so you take a look and. Um, I hope you enjoy it and try it out on your own and take a picture of it and post hashtag, it. hashtag lockdown lunacy. Ooh. <laughs> Hi, we're going to make a painting today, but this is a little different than usual because we're not using paintbrushes. We're going to use string. So we're going to be making string painting and we'll be using all the colors of the rainbow. So what we'll need is a roll of string, and I have, this is um, a jute twine, but you can use almost anything, as long as there's a little bit of a, um, a thickness to it. If you have nothing else, maybe just even um, a thin yarn might do. I have scissors to cut the, the uh, twine with. You need two sheets of paper, and the thicker you can get it, the better. So construction paper or maybe cardstock. I have um, some painting paper that I'm using. Uh, all these different colors of paints. Um, you know, if you don't, if you don't have all the colors. As long as you have blue, red, and yellow, you can make any color at all. And you will want. Um, I've got a little paper plate. Um, I have a palette that I usually use, but we're going to be putting the, the paint on here and then putting the string in it to, to get the string covered in paint. So it has to be flat. That's why I'm not using my regular palette. So what we're going to do to start is put out our colors. And let's see, I've got, I've got blue and I've got red, but I don't have any purple. So I'm going to mix these two. To make purple. <clears throat> First thing I'm going to do is shake up the paint just to make sure that it's well 
well uh, mixed. Some of it's been sitting for a while. A little bit of blue. And a little bit of red together. And that's why I have the uh, toothpick today, uh, so that I can mix these two together and get a purple. And then what we want to do is we want to put um, drops of paint and make sure that they're touching so that when we put the string in it, they're going to be all, the string is going to be completely covered in paint. So, spot blue, spot red. I have neon orange. So we put yellow next. And then I have three different colors here. I've got a nice light, what's it called? It's limeade, but it's a very yellowy green. And then I have a darker green. And then I have sort of a bluish green. So I'm gonna use all three of those as well. Okay, so we have our paint on the page. I'm just gonna move these aside. Then you're going to take a length of string and I'm making it the length of my warp area here just so that I know I have enough. What you do is you place your string in the paint. And this might be where the uh, toothpick comes in. Using it in the, in the purple that I mixed up and then moving it over and maybe in the green. What you're going to do is sort of move it around so it gets covered with your paint. Can you see that? And you might want to put it down again so that you get a double area. And I want to make sure I get the right side because this has two different sides to it. And then on top of one piece of paper, you're just going to put your string and you're going to put the other piece of paper on top of that. Make sure that they line up as well as you can. And what you can do here is either take it down or a better idea might be just putting a, a book on it that'll hold it in place, but that you can still move your string. And then you just move your string around. And what you're doing is you're painting with your string. And it moved a bit. Live and learn, right? Pull it down here, pull it down here. And then I'm going to lift it up, see what it looks like. And there I have a little bit of art. And here's the great thing. When I'm done, if I don't like it, I can add some more paint to the, to the string and do some more stuff. I think I might just do that. And this time, I am going to tape it down. Okay. Lift it up again. And there we have another piece. And the great thing about this is you can play with it and try different techniques until you find just exactly what you're looking for. I hope you have fun. And when you do this, take pictures of it and put it on social media and hashtag it with Lockdown Lunacy. See you next time. So Pastor Peggy. Yes. Your, your daughter's taking some psychology type things, right? 
Yes, she is. She's doing her master's degree in counseling psychology. Cool. Mm -hmm. Does she do anything with ink blots? I, she hasn't mentioned it. So what do you see? <laughs> that was such a fun craft to do. And um, it might be one that I'll try. Like, it, 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 it's so relaxing and you don't know how it's going to turn out. But the great thing is you get two. So you can share it with your best friend. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. And are they identical? You know, they are, they are as identical as twins. So they're very, very similar. Very similar, yep. Um, right. You can see there's, um, on, oops, <laughs> there. On this one over here, there's, yeah less less paint here um, than there is on this one and they're mirror images pretty much yeah because they yeah. were they were together yeah. like this that um, is so cool yeah but from the video from the video um, the first time I used the string I had the book on it so that part of it is identical the second time when I just taped it um, sometimes the the top paper came up when I was moving the string so that's why they're not quite completely identical so they're like fraternal twins like fraternal twins they're yeah. similar very similar <laughs> very but similar. that's so cool because now you have a, a gift for a friend yeah mm -hmm. put it on the wall the date yeah it, it, what a great memory oh yeah and yeah, it'll give you put COVID-19 <laughs> And it will uh, give you hope yes. for the future. You can look back and remember that and think about the hope that, that you yeah. have. Yeah, and, and um, let me see. Oh, there we go. And you see there's sort of a, an arc here. Oh, okay. Can I see that? Yeah. Um, that's like the rainbow. And then you get all the, the different colors of the rainbow. And, and maybe this, oh, sorry, this here. Right there is a sail on the sailboat. <laughs> oh, no. You know what I see? I see a path walking into a building. Oh. And you know what? That's what abstract art is all about. What do you see? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Love it. That, that was so much fun. I'm going to have to give that a try. That was fun. It was easy. And it was, it was a surprise because I didn't know how it was going to turn out until I opened it up to look at it. It's like, reveal! Reveal! <laughs> and so easy that anybody can do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Love it. Yes. Well, we have got a fantastic show for you tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> a follow-up from uh, Reverend Kathy Jeffries yesterday, where she was talking about mental health and self-care. Um, we at this church in Slave Lake was actually going to have uh, an art therapy class and so tomorrow we're bringing that online and mm -hmm. so um, my daughter uh, Lori who's taking her master's degree in counseling psychology is going to be showing us a little bit about art therapy and we're going to be making a beautiful spring um, painting yay <laughs> that's going to be so much fun um looking forward to it it's it's been a couple of days of painting yeah this is a little different this this was for kids now i have a couple of people in my congregation that are picking up their canvases from the church because we had them already purchased but they're going to be sitting with their kids they're going to be sitting mm -hmm. with their children and doing it together and and you can watch our video later you don't have to watch it right on time and pause it as you as you're going through so yes. you can take your time and do it so be, because all the stuff that you see in the video it took us about two hours two hours to shoot that and I I did some speeding up and 
and whatnot. So um, don't don't think, oh, I can't keep up. Well, neither could we. <laughs> <laughs> it took us two hours. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I gotta try this thing. <laughs> From Slave Lake Wesleyan, I'm Pastor Peggy. And from Norfolk Wesleyan, I'm Pastor Diane. We'll see you tomorrow. Until then, be safe. Be healthy. And, and be, be the, the church. church. Bye.